before we start this video, let's look at the uh, start image, which was photographed very tight uh, and therefore it's not very pleasing. And now let's look at the computer generated wide angle view. And we can see that the computer has matched the left hand side and the right hand side perfectly. So with that, let's begin the tutorial. Welcome to my latest video on Photoshop's um, artificial intelligence. This particular picture that we see on the screen, um, when we go to process, we find that I should have used a wide angle lens. We've got things a bit tight. So what we're going to do with artificial intelligence is we're going to create a wide angle lens view and the computer is going to generate the additional portions of this image by analyzing the picture um, in detail. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our crop tool. I'm going to use this crop tool to extend the image on each side equally. So I'm going to extend the image on this side. I'm going to extend the image on the other side. And just eyeballing it, that's roughly equal. I'm going to then move to my marquee tool. And uh, this is the marquee tool. If I press the marquee tool, uh, you'll find that I've got a crosshair. And what I want to do here is I want to select this area. And I'm going to create a little overlap of the image as we run down the seam. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see this little dialog box appear, generate a fill. And what we're going to do is we're going to click it. We're not going to enter any narrative. We're just going to click generate. It's going to go out to the internet. It's going to analyze the pixels that we have overlapped and effectively generate the rest of that side of the picture. And as you can see, it's done a reasonable job at this particular stage, but we can actually view three variations and then choose which one we feel is better. And I think the first one in this instance was the better choice. Again, we're moving over to the other side and with the rectangular marquee tool selected, we're going to do exactly the same on this side and we're going to overlap very, very slightly. Again, we get the dialog box up. We're going to generate a fill. We're going to click on generate a fill and we're going to click generate. Again, it's going out, it's going to analyze those pixels and it's going to generate the rest of the image. Again, we're going to get three variations. We've got the first variation, the second variation, and the third variation. I think that the, the first variation is quite a good representation. We're now going to have a look at the image by going to our bottom, press our spyglass. We're going to go view, and then we're going to go for a screen view, a full screen view. And we can actually see the wide angle view of the image. And as you can see, um, AI has done a terrific job in creating a wide angled uh, variation of this picture which has given it a greater viewing experience. Thank you for watching. I hope that this particular video will enlighten you to experiment with your images. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel uh, for more uh, AI examples in the future.